we have Norwich Nighthawks against Leamington Spartans 2s. Spartans 2s taking the first, the middle ball with three balls now in hand. Going very aggressive from the middle there, taking out Whitley. Now this game is very important to this league. Nighthawks are at the top of the league currently, currently undefeated. Actually, scratch that. They're top of the league, but suffered a loss along the way. Leamington Spartans sitting around around the top space. But uh, both teams here coming up all the way from League 3 in first, second place. Then into League 2, first, second place. And now batting out here in Men's League 1. Spartans here taking a very early league to this set. Getting hit on Bawley. Play balls on Nighthawks, forcing them to throw two. Three balls now in the hands of Spartans. Great dodge there by Durban on the left side. Nighthawks taking away four balls in hand. As you can see on the side there, ball retriever Durban is also holding the ball at the side just to keep that possession in hand, ready to pass it on as needs. Passing it straight into Mallows, now taking three balls, going forward to attack. A wild cross out by Johnson. Covered brilliantly there. Tetley goes for the cross court. Johnson's led, protected by Mallows. Good pressure there, Mallows. You see there, he puts himself forward up court, trying to prevent that play ball being called on Nighthawks. Generally, as a team, the Nighthawks do like to play with a two ball attack. Durbin with fantastic there. And Mallows with a fantastic diving catch. Scooping that ball off of the floor. Head ref Sam Sam Richards calling no no catch on that. Of course, referee's decision is final. Did look good from our angle though. All three balls there released at Johnson, unable to get out of the way of all three. The third one brilliantly delayed, clipping him on the back, leaving just Durbin in a 1v3. Durbin still with three balls in hand. Spartans taking the counter, and Durbin's getting hit. He looks very disappointed himself in that. Durbin is known for taking those catches, dropping down. Spartans going very well there to take that aggression and punish him for going for that catch. Score currently is 2-0 to Leamington Spartans. Nighthawks win the middle ball. Passing across to Finney on the right wing who fumbles a bit. Durbin's there to pick it up. Three balls now in hand. Johnson going with that cross court. Seems to have swapped sides from the right wing to the left wing. Webb up there, applying pressure. Release from the right side with Finney. Webb pushes up, opting out of that counter-attack, preferring to sit back with his team. A release from Keyes, retaliated by Durbin. Fleming's just there, holding up to the pressure up court. Three balls back to the Spartan side. Again, you can see this game is very tight, very neck and neck. Oh, Tetley, unfortunately, that he's known for taking that drop back catch. This time, Webb going for that cross court. Very early in the game here. Whilst these two teams have faced each other for three years now, they do know each other quite well. They know what each team is bringing. And Spartans coming out really aggressive. Spartans now one up. Bawley with a cross court taking out Diggings on that left side. Back to even a piece now. Three balls in hand for Spartans. Bawley applies pressure. Survives the cross court from Fleming. Very quick release there. 
Three rolls back with the Nighthawks. A great, a great throw from Bolly on the right side. Clipping the toes of Webb as he jumps up high. Play two is now on the Spartans. They do have to release this. Whitley manages to block two of them. Doing very good to absorb the pressure. Three balls in Nighthawk hands. Mallow's, uh, Mallow's covering there. Fleming takes a really good cross court, pinning out Mallow's as he covers Bolly on the right wing. Whitley releasing high, catching Fleming as he jumps. Neck and neck these two into this game with 25 seconds remaining. Nighthawks one player up in this. Finney opting not to go for that catch. Just over 15 seconds left. 3v2, four balls in hand to Nighthawks. The keys goes to the drop catch. Unfortunate not to make that. Now it's just Doxy against three with five seconds left. And Doxy seems to be hit there before release, but then froze anyway. Nighthawks don't seem happy about that, but we'll leave it down to the refs, see what they decide. Seems to be just playing on. Looks like for Sam's, the two refs are just having a discussion, seeing if there's any malice behind that throw. Nighthawks more than happy just to line up. Richards just explaining to Nighthawks what's happening, explaining what's called. Seems to be just a bit of a play on moment. Okay. Looks to be that Richards is giving Spartans a warning for doing that. Seems to be no malice in that throw. As we go into the third game of this match, 2 all. And I am joined by... Oh, when he gets up the stairs. Hello. Now I'm joined by Sam Warville. Hello. Sorry, our game ran over. Do not worry. Fantastic cross got there from Bolly. Taking off that beautiful toe of Tetley. <laughs> uh, so, yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a bit of a summary of what's happened, because you've just joined us, Warble, yeah. is that Nighthawks and Spartans here are so back and forth. We are currently 2 all in this game. Uh, both okay. games have gone quite close, with only one or two player difference. Okay. Spartans going very aggressive on their throwing style, Nighthawks very high aggression on their catches. Kind of the Nighthawks we expect, kind of the Spartans we expect. Yeah, definitely. We were, uh, I'm sure we're going to see some absolutely ridiculous catches out from Nighthawks, though, which seems to be their bread and butter. And we'll also see a lot of topings, I feel, from the Spartan side. Yeah. As they're so aggressive up court, as you uh, see there with Fleming. Yeah, a lovely shot from Johnson there, taking out a web for Spartans, giving them a 5 4 advantage. Durbin, with that throw of his, comes from an American football background, has got a lot of a wit behind it. Yeah, wow, that's a. I didn't really think of those as sort of like interchangeable, but I guess seeing uh, Durbin there. I right, hooked with the three balls going up. Again, a very spinny ball from the right side with Bolly there. Nighthawks opting to take a lot of pressure off the Spartans by throwing at ball there. Yeah. This is Dur Durbin's uh, first week back as well, yeah. isn't it? After Durbin's just come back from a knee injury. Um, he's been out for three or four meets. Um, he is the captain of his team and is just returning to his final few meets. And a fantastic block there for Durbin on the left side. Still remaining a one player advantage here. Pressure by Durbin. Spartans run up, throw three balls. And a nice catch there from Fleming on Fle Twitter. Fantastic by Fleming, going highly aggressive there on that catch. Nighthawks looking frustrated, seems that wasn't the call. Three balls now, one player down. Nice block out there from Finley. And the reply onto, yeah. is that Webb again? Yeah. Out, yeah. The reply onto Webb, Finney's darting around the court there to get that block. And an Oh, that's a lovely cross court onto Tetley. We'll see what see what the refs call. Refs calling bounce on it. Of course, refs decision is final, so we'll yep. let them roll with it. What we see up here might be different to what the refs see. Definitely. A very lateral dodge out by Finney, using that box to move away from where he started. Three balls up for Nighthawks. Johnson making the call. Just another yeah, single, an, yeah. Another cross cut from the Nighthawks side. Do notice if a Nighthawks actually do tend to focus ball a lot. Okay. It's almost to, almost to pin down that aggression. They don't like dealing with people running at them. And that big lateral dodge by Finney is... 
um, was punished there, but a nice rec um, retaliation onto Tetley, so back to 3v3. Barton, very aggressive this throw. Hit was three called three. after whistle. Yeah, three Set three. Ends, three all. This really is going hit for hit here from both these squads. Last time these two met, though, it was very much in favour of Nighthawks. Yeah, it was quite a um, strong showing from them. But, but they are also missing Skinner today. Yeah. Who's usually a very, very aggressive counter on that wing. And they, they uh, Nighthawks did look a bit weaker as well earlier against Leeds. Not yes. their strongest performance. They managed to finish it. Um, their second half was very strong, but yeah. um, it was a quite a weak first half. Well, from Blair standards. Durbin Dur clipped on the toe then by Keys. Again, but then we look at the Spartan side, change of plays as well. Yeah. Diggins, Diggins is down in this team now, so is Tetley. Uh, Fleming being moved up from, I think he's been playing on everywhere really. Yeah, he has. He's been all over their teams this season for the youngster. Very, very good player. Definitely, more, definitely an up and comer to watch. They go very aggressive there on Bali. Fantastic jumping dodge, blocking in the air. Three balls for Nighthawks, one player down still. Very early dodge there from Tetley. Uh, Do the cross court. Yeah, again, they're loving that cross court. I, I can see that now. Not having much effect at the moment, but we'll see if that changes. I got a nice catch out there. A lovely catch there. I didn't even see who caught it. All I saw uh, was a catch made. 36. Ah, Whitley. Whitley that's Fantastic catch from Whitley. Yeah. Walsh with a great dodge there in the middle. Oh, now a 6v5. Yeah, being called by the ref. Oh, 5v5. 5v5 again, back to balance. One minute 40 left. This time opting with a straight throw there, Bolly. Have to be careful with these Spartans. They're still formidable throws against formidable catchers. It's yeah. So it's, oh, they've got a weak point to sort of exploit, really. Like stuck between a rock and a hard place. The rock is the Spartans' <laughs> throw, is the hard place is Nighthawks' catchers. Yeah. Great pressure up there by Webb on that right wing. Really pushing back Whitley, making sure he can't do anything in retaliation. Oh, and a and lovely catch from Johnson. That's what he's saying about about that Nighthawks catching. They're so good at tracking that ball. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate by Tetley there. Seems to have not gone where he intended it. That's the thing, though. It's like, who do you pick out on this squad to, to throw at? Absolutely. Like, but then oh, you yes. back these Spartans' arms. Fantastic True. throwers. So, like very very aggressive up there by Ovenden. Two, two player lead now for Nighthawks. I hope really don't like having the three balls here. I've got a lovely catch on Webb there. Brings it up into five all again. With 25 seconds remaining. Bowley with two blocks. They go aggressive. Change of target by Bowley. Johnson releases up high. Fleming presses up. Mallows shuts off the pressure. 15 seconds remaining, but four balls given to the Spartans boys. Imagine they'll have to do a multi-ball hit. Nope, just... But one single of ball. I think they wanted to singles. really wanted to bail out time. I think they're happy to take a draw here. Yeah. Two seconds, but one second. And there's the whistle. And another draw. This, this game's going to go all the way, I feel. There's been quite a lot of four ball, single balls at the moment today, which I haven't seen much success with, honestly. Um, yeah, it happened in our game. We had five and we were just releasing singles back and forwards. Really? Uh, but but it, it's a good play in order to slow up time. It so, is, it is, but. Uh, yeah, I guess they're just they're happy in the position that they're in. They feel yeah. comfortable, so they're not trying to accelerate things too much. Well, looking at it from a Spartan's perspective, maybe they dropped that they dropped that catch early on and then gave away a catch to Johnson. Yeah. Um, they were coming out from a battle uphill, so it's good for them to take the draw, maybe in their eyes. True. As we go into this set, Bolly and Johnson really high up court, putting press on. Uh, Wilkie has now been subbed on. Immediately with a throw, looking at hitting Walsh there, who drops sideways to dodge it. Three balls now in the Nighthawk side. And a straight throw at the ball from uh, Johnson there, and a reply from Wilkie, no, Fleming. from Fleming. Fleming with a fantastic yeah. release there, so quick on it. But I'm not finding purchase with Durbin with a nice uh, dodge in the middle. Three balls coming up on Nighthawks. Very slow come up there, trying to push these, push these Spartans back. Three balls now to Spartans, very back and forward this game. 
single ball from Webb. Again, missing Walsh. Lucky with the block. Three balls, Nighthawks, six on six. With 27 seconds remaining. Will we have another draw in this half, making it the third one? Mallows with a block. It's being called by Richards. Nighthawks now down with 17 seconds remaining. Need a hit. They need to go aggressive with this hit if they want to win this draw this set. Walsh gets the hit on Wilkie. Even. Even now. With three balls and. That's the caught on the whistle. Yep. <laughs> and two seconds left. They're not going to throw here. We have not a throw. Sure ball. I think our timing must be a little out. Yep, timing could be off. Don't worry. Times are not always in sync with the refs. Um, I'm sure that will be not long after. And a catch uh, from Johnson. Johnson. Johnson takes that catch. Maybe this time has helped in Nighthawk's favor. 20, 20 seconds, seconds remaining. Away. So, yeah, we're up. Maybe that pause we had earlier, up. they paused time for that. Yeah. Okay, Nighthawks, 6 v 4. About yeah. 15 seconds remaining here. Yeah, seems, Three balls. Seems. Oh, and this timing has gone in Nighthawk's favor this set. Yeah, definitely. Probably looking slow this set down. Yeah. And there he is. Still not a decisive win no, in the set. It was, it was all down to that Johnson catch with the 20 seconds yeah. to go. This time Nighthawks taking two balls. Three balls in Spartan hands. And just a lovely throw there onto Malo. Yeah, Malo's unable to get his hands around that. Comes in with a lot of spin. Nice dodge from Keys there. Feel the fakes from Nighthawks there were a bit disjointed. Seems there was a single fake and then a one release. So it was quite a nice dodge there for Keys, able to get out of the way of that. Nighthawks again with the two balls. And Finney takes the catch, dropping to his knees and soaking that catch up. Looks, looks like Diggins is going to, I think he's going to be sobbing himself yeah. off after this. Time. It doesn't, doesn't seem too happy with that, yeah. does he? That's two sets in a row now. He's just thrown two catches. Right. Nighthawks now approaching the three balls. Bully releasing on the left. Wilkie with the block. Mellows with the block. Johnson with the pressure. Nice dodge from Wilkie Johnson. now goes aggressive. Bully goes aggressive. And missing Wilkie. Yeah, wow. All of that and nothing happens. Nothing happened. It's a lot. You can tell it's a lot of respect for both teams. Just like. I don't think they can get a cheap hit, do they? No. Walsh, really good there, stepping up, taking that hit with Fleming. They'll be happy with that one for one. Yeah, given their one up in this set, the player advantage in the Nighthawks' favour. Oh, Mallow getting hit again. Yeah, there. Mallow's not happy with himself with that. Again, a very good catch and no for taking those. Looks frustrated with himself for missing it. Yeah. And Bolly pressing up too high, it seems, oh, and yeah, so Spartans it. punish it. Yeah, they broke his block there, yeah. which was... You can see a very, a very, yeah. very good blocker ball. He's very hard to get past him when he's got that shield in front of him. Then with the whip. He's ducking straight under it. And Finney with a very quick retaliation on the left side before Wilkie's even managed to fully release. Three balls for Nighthawks. Yeah, after some interesting singles. Yep, only 45 seconds remaining as well, though. Yeah, Spartan's up in this. A great dodge there by Wilkie, getting really high into the air above that ball. This this entire Spartans team is so good at dodging. Well, both teams are very yeah, good at dodging. Yeah, they're both very agile teams, yeah. but also very at taking the catches. Really have to be on top of your game. Only 25 seconds now remaining in this game. I hooks one player down with four balls. You expect now them to be punishing, throwing all the balls at one target. Oh, and that and was they a do. lovely hit onto Ovenden. Durbin that clipping good. the toe of Ovenden. Now, even in the set with 10 seconds left, it's going to be a very close finish, I think. A lovely block out from Johnson and a block out from Keyes. Looks like we're going to get the fourth draw of this match so far. Sorry, the third draw of this match so far. And Johnson take... Oh. It looks like time's going to be paused. How's he... Time looks like it's going to be paused here. Discussing it, it looks to be that Johnson wants had to take off that catch, and then one ricocheted up and Finney caught one. Yeah. That's what I think the refs are deliberating, if that pop-up would count, if it was Johnson's ball or Johnson's blocking ball. I mean, even if that, that, if that first ball made a catch, they go four, two up, and then if they get a hit. Okay. 
Oh, it's just time we had refs VAR. Yeah. Wish we could see what they're saying. I want to hear what's. I'd like to hear some, some ref mics. Yeah, refs mics would be great. Hearing what Richard is saying. Three all. Draw's been called. Seems another set where we get another draw. I think maybe catch after whistle. I think is what yeah. maybe what they're calling that. Yeah. Maybe the blocked ball. I don't know. We'll leave it to the refs. Yeah. I, 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 I can't imagine either team's particularly phased with that no. call. No. Uh, given the Spartans thought they got the hit, no thought they got the catch. For them to say, now we've got either. Kind of nice neutral balancing ground. I've seen a lot of quick starts this game, have we? No. Very much just setting with three and then going. Nighthawk's missing Skinner, who's the usual middle ball runner, seems to yeah, be they're, they're, quite a struggle. Their quick starts were lethal against everyone else with Skinner, just so quick. And a uh, couple of trades there. Oh, and then Johnson gets hit by Fleming. Yep. One player up now for Spartans. Urban with the block above his head. Again, only one player advantage for Spartans at the moment. Never been more than like two players advantage no. on either side. No. Not a single set so far has been a whitewash. Never been a concise and clear winner. I mean, four draws. like Three draws, yeah. Three draws and Three draws, a, yeah. yeah. Two in the first half and then the one there. Barnes have the two balls but player advantage at the moment. Three balls onto the Nighthawk side. Bully with the release, looking at Ovenden. Walsh with the release. Very aggressive there from both of them. But yeah. Wilkie doing very well to get under that ball, blocking it. Oh, there's only one on this. And the four balls there on the Spartan side, releasing three of them, taking out Durban. Okay, so now we go. Fair ball. Two player advantage for Spartans. Two balls. Trying to, trying to figure out what's happening here with the refs. Uh, it seemed that a ball was picked up from elsewhere. That ball, you can't see on screen, it's just slightly off screen. Um, wasn't collected and it was spare ball was thrown in instead. So they passed the ball across the other nice side. Nice from Webb there, from Borley. Again, Spartans two players up. And that ricochet catch been taken there by Wilkie. Gives Spartans a, a 6 3 lead here. This is probably the most com commanding set we've seen so yep. far. 45 sec seconds left. They're just not gifting the Nighthawks any catches. No. Probably just another single ball here, just passing out the 25 seconds. Oh, that that could have been a real game changer. Yeah, there. that would have changed it. Um, they do need two, two players down though, so that would have been one catch. They'd need another to equalise. Yeah, but now not made anything. Benue with a block. Yeah, this is the most dominating set we've seen so far from the Spartans. Five seconds. Yeah. Just a couple of singles, um, and there's the whistle. That's the whistle. Barton's now equalising it. 7-7. Seven, seven. Two sets in the second half. No one's really taken any advantages here. Three balls for Spartans, but just setting with that on no quick starts. But Mallow's been subbed off. Johnson for, not happy with himself no. there. Usually so good at taking that, but the spin from Tetley there, making it unable for him to get that ball locked into his chest. Three balls now to the Nighthawk side. Mallow's been subbed off uh, set before, I think. Yeah, he was. Nice block from Keys. Three balls coming now. So Fleming over Crosscott, Durban with that overhead release from Durban, pinning the toes of Ovenden. Nothing Ovenden can do there, but a fantastic release there from Durban. Three balls for Spartans, five on five. I've said this so many times. Yep, five on five. Once Single ball release at ball. That's it. Seems both teams have a play style. Yeah. Three balls now Spartan side. 
What can the Nighthawks do with it? Nighthawks counter. Oh, that's a and lovely hit. Durban once yeah. more. His overhead release comes so much at an angle, it's really hard to judge. It's the moustache. Most people are. And Finney with the catch. And now it seems Nighthawks are finding their strides in this set. Yeah. Speed Sp players up. Spartans now flipping the set from before where Spartans had a dominating lead. Now Spartans. And Walsh takes that pre throw, taking out Fleming. Yeah, four player lead now for Nighthawks. This is, yeah. This is the most we've seen Nighthawks in the lead. Yeah, wow. It's Again. They take one set. And, and Johnson, Johnson takes an easy, fairly easy catch there from Keys. Yeah. Not to try and force yeah. something. But... Keys, look, I think. It's an easy catch, but at the same time, Keys had to go aggressive yeah, there. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah, they're two six down. They needed that aggression. Timeout called for Spartans. Timeout for Spartans. Nine six. seven. On our clock, we've got six minutes thirty-seven remaining. Three sets, possibly, yeah. probably there. It's going to go down to the wire either way. Yeah. No one, no one's giving anyone an inch. Yeah. Seems head coach Walsh is just checking the time left. Make sure the refs put that score on. Yeah, Richard's now put the score on. Uh, Such the coach of the Spartan side. What do you think he's telling the Spartans? It's it's hard to say. I don't know. They're, I think they do, do got drawn in a bit in that set. There's a couple yeah. of ones where they were just up court and getting hit and not, not getting anything on the trade. Say with Tom with the pre throw, uh, with Walsh with the pre throw. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it's, but it wasn't like they were doing anything like stylistically wrong. They just got down very early, and no. then it's neither team have been able to come back from the best. I, I think because they were in that six four deficit, uh, they were then taking too many risks. Um, bets have been won from more than six four down. Yeah, uh, they seem to wait, take too many risks there, Spartans, um, for a couple of ones which were soaked up by the Nighthawks catches, as we expect from the Nighthawks. Doxy riling up the team. Doxy now being some straight back on this game. A very good impact player. Comes with a lot of aggression. Yeah. Overton have been subbed off as well there. Yeah. On the receiving end of Durban's throws a couple of times there. Yeah. Spartans coming a lot more aggressive into there, taking a lot more pressure and forcing that Nighthawk curly release. Nothing gained on either side though. So. Nothing gained, nothing lost. Bounce called there. Two balls on Nighthawk side, three for Spartans. Johnson taking the win with Finney. Yeah. There's a lot of rotation on the Nighthawk side, on the wingers. Yeah. Uh, what the Nighthawks do is, after you do one good thing, you tend to rotate a play. Fair enough. Yeah, it prevents people doing two good, two things and doing two things wrong. Fair enough. So, quick flurry blows, no one goes out. Yeah. It also keeps your arms very, very fresh. True. True. Right, as you find. The likes of Spartans, they keep their wingers quite set. A lovely, lovely toping there from Bolly yeah. on the wing onto no. Wilkie. He's not too happy with that. Spartans retaliating. Doxy with a fantastic block. Tries to catch Finney napping. Finney, very good reaction there, but a good, good effort there from Doxy to try and take that aggressive throw. One player advantage for Nighthawks here. Free throw by Fleming, taking out Walsh. Goes aggressive. Takes off Finney as well. Fleming with two lovely picks there. Yeah, he's going very aggressive. Bully just pressing up court to try and retrieve a second ball, and the score line's flipped. Now Barnes by far up. Oh, oh. Bully. Chooses to go for the block there instead of taking the keys who's on the floor there. Yeah, I think Webb did really well there just to soak up that aggression. Very true. Four balls now on Spartans. The high pressure from Borley. Will Borley take the risk? Oh, a ricochet catch. Uh, oh, bounce is no, called. Bounce is called. Bounce is called from Sam Richards. Richards calling that bounce. Okay, now we have a two player advantage for Spartans. 56 seconds remaining on our clock. Another single from Nighthawks. Yeah. They're going to be looking for this catch now. Yep. Again, single from Nighthawks. Another single from Nighthawks. Interesting to go with singles here when they've got a deficit. Um, you'd think a lot of teams would go with that two ball release and um, try and get that player that advantage down. Bounce oh, calls. Bounce call on Durban there. Yeah. Cross call from, from Durban. Durban. 
Again, they're playing this very slow. They've only got 20 seconds. They can't afford to be playing this slow. No. Spartans doing really good, doing classic Spartans. Smart Burns making it just yeah. above that valid line. Make sure Nighthawks can't do what Nighthawks do Johnson, in catch. Johnson very much wanted that catch there. They finally released that two ball, but is it too late? Two seconds left. They're not going to... Oh, Johnson yeah, looked He wanted great. it. Yeah. He wanted it. Feel a bit of miscommunication, miscommunication on the Nighthawks side there. Not yeah. really communicating how much time is left. But nine. again, we're drawing 9-9. Nine, 9-0 nine. Nine, oh, now, 3 minutes, 23 on our clock remaining. So two more sets regardless. Okay. Middle ball goes to Nighthawks, three balls now in hand. Nighthawks got a substitution again. Uh, Walsh is off uh, Mallows. I think it's trying to find a combination what's working at the moment. Yeah, they seem to have the, 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 the couple of good pieces going about, but it's just that. Yeah, their rotational players seem to be their middle players. Their wingers seem to be usual wingers. Oh. Johnson. Oh, oh, no. And the ricochet onto Fleming. So, yeah, a lovely free throw there from Johnson. Gets hit out by um, Wilkie, but then the ricochet comes back onto Fleming, who almost secured it. Yeah. Fleming's right to go for it. Yeah, that would have been that would have been amazing for Spurs Ball. if he'd have landed that ball. Borley being called out there. Very confident calls from a virtue refs. But we love to see, we love our refs doing their jobs and helping. Four balls from Nighthawks and a single coming out from Finney. And then second, just single coming out from Mallows. Yeah, it seems that the call wasn't seemed to be listened to there or he got put off by the pressure from the Spartan side. Oh, and the Dur Do Doxy gets hit there in yeah. the middle. Durbin with that quick release he's got, taking out Doxy as he drops. Doxy really wanting that drop catch. Lovely two-step coming out from him there. I doubt even if it was a two-step, it's probably just a post there at this point. And a nice block from Finney. And, 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 and Durbin does it out. again, taking that cross court. Such a quick release from behind his head, it's really hard to read sometimes. Two players up for Nighthawks. But the last ball with Whitley in hand. Oh, and Finney drops the ball. Love, nice powerful throw from Tetley there. Three balls from Spartans. Only a one player advantage now on the Nighthawk one side. 1.15 of the set remain. A very, very good game, yes. And a lovely Willis hit on the back. Here. We're down to two on two. Two on two. They brought it down from the deficit. Four balls for Nighthawks. Single out from... Which, again, Nighthawks had four and balls five. there. Choosing to take one ball release. I think they're just trying to get the two balls. Yeah, they love playing with two balls and they're not happy with having three here, but neither do seem to be Spartans. Now what was the third ball? I'll take it. Two balls on oh, Tetley. Tetley with a line fault. And, and that's the game. Durbin, and that's for that Durbin takes the hit on keys. That was, that, yeah. Like, one minute set. This will be the final one minute it set. It looks to be a one minute set. Uh, Nighthawks are one set up in this match. So it, they can't lose. They, but they can't lose, but they most definitely can draw. Yeah, there's definitely some fans here rooting for Nighthawks. Mainly the MK players. Um, I, I believe if this does is, is a draw, MK and Spartans will be on the same amount of points, so it'll come down to set difference. I think Nighthawks will be happy taking a draw here, given the way this game has gone. Yeah. Uh, it, it does look like Skinner has been a big miss. No, he's, but props on the rest of the Nighthawks players who are playing up. Oh yeah, like it's not like they've been bad. It's yeah. just they're not the the sort of. Oh, and a ricochet catch from from Borley. Borley taking that ricochet catch. Five five. Five five. The catch was after, was before Finney was hit. Yeah, it was the sort of covering throw. Oh, they've given four balls away. No, they haven't. They had four balls to start with, Whoa. but they did a usual release, a random single. <laughs> oh, it's tense. 34 seconds left. Block nice. from Borty. Oh, and oh and Keys. Keys taking the ricochet back. Doxy signaling Fleming's comeback to the back of the court. Two players down on Nighthawks now. Johnson getting hit there. Three, three players up now. Spartans will, will be happy. Set. Spartans will be happy to take this draw here, I think. Taking the hit. There's only 10 seconds left. Nighthawks needs to be doing something. This is a win for Spartans here. Yeah. Nice block out from Fleming. Just and nothing's caught. And 
It's a draw. It's a draw. 11-11, final score.